two bodies one and two shown in the figure have equal mass m all the surfaces are smooth what should be the value of force p so that body two does not slide on body one pause this video and try to figure out this problem let's walk through the solution the value of the force p that prevents body two from sliding on body one is two times mg where g is the acceleration due to gravity let us consider body one and body two as a system under the application of the force p this system will accelerate in the left direction with respect to the ground let the acceleration of the system with respect to the ground be a in the left direction the equation of motion of the system is p equals the sum of mass of body one and body two times a both the bodies have same mass m therefore the acceleration of the system equals p over two times m let us first solve this problem by working in the frame of body one this frame is non-inertial as it has an acceleration a with respect to an inertial frame the ground in this frame the body two is at rest the forces acting on the body two in this frame are contact force by the body one normal to the incline pull of the earth mg vertically downward and pseudo force ma towards right now take the components of the forces parallel and normal to the incline for the body two to be at rest with respect to the body one the net force parallel to the incline should be zero therefore ma cos 45 degrees equals mg sine 45 degrees keeping the value of a as p over 2m in this equation we get p equals 2 times mg hence for the body 2 to remain at rest with respect to the body 1 p should be 2 times mg now let us solve this problem by working in the ground frame this frame is inertial in this frame the body 2 is moving in the left direction with the acceleration a equals p over 2 times m the forces acting on the body 2 in this frame are contact force by the body 1 normal to the incline and the pull of the earth mg vertically downward let's take the components of the forces in the horizontal and the vertical direction if the body 2 does not slide on body 1 it should not move in the vertical direction in the ground frame so the net force in this direction should be zero therefore R cos 45 degrees equals mg. This gives R equals square root of 2 times mg. The equation of motion of body 2 in the horizontal direction is R sine 45 degrees equals m times a. Keeping the value of R as square root of 2 times mg and the value of a as p over 2 times m in this equation, we get p equals 2 times mg, which is the required value of p to prevent the sliding of body 2 on body 1.